Let's start off by talking about a great way to defeat the Jet Dragon boss early game. What you will need to do is locate the island down below towards the left. This right here will be a volcano island and what you're going to do is choose this exact spawn point right here. Once you're here, all you need to do is open up the map and locate the Jet Dragon. This specific pal will be located on the left side of the map and you should be able to see it because it does have a picture icon there. It shows you exactly what it looks like and where it's at. What's great about this is we're going to be able to push the boss off the map and take him out instantly. Now I do want to give credit to Piamuki, which was a commenter on a video two videos ago. Thank you so much for sharing this and let's go ahead and talk about it. What you can see is the jet dragon in the distance. If you do arrive at night, which is something I would recommend, is because the jet dragon should be asleep. This will give you time to kind of set yourself up properly, and then you can attack and lead this specific pal off the cliff. For example, what you can see right here is that I'm going to attack the jet dragon while it's asleep, and I'm going to make sure that I'm really close to this cliff right here. What the jet dragon will do is try to go for you, but sometimes it may just try to attack you with some range attacks. If that's the case, what you can do is wait for the jet dragon to go back to sleep. Then you will then want to shoot at the jet dragon again and see if it will lead itself off the cliff. This clip right here, that did not happen. What I'll have to do now is go back and attack the jet dragon once more. What you're going to see this time is that the jet dragon is actually going to lead itself off the cliff and fall to its death. For example, right here. If you're fortunate enough, the boss will fall down and also kind of stay alive so you can actually capture it. But if this is not the case, it will fall to its death completely and that's pretty much it. But let's go ahead and talk about the second glitch here. We are going to go over three different glitches in this clip. What we need to do is craft down a shield and we also need a glider. If you do not have those, it's going to be a difficult time. But just know that if you do have some accessory pieces as well, that will work. So yeah, either way will work. If you do not have accessories, you can use your glider. But what we'll do now is talk about what we're going to show first. We are going to talk about the glider glitch because this right here is probably the most interesting glitch I've seen in a game so far. What we're going to do right here is open up our menu and you're going to see that I have the Giga Glider. You can use whichever one you want. If you want to use the basic version, the, you know, the second version, it's up to you. But what you can tell right here is that this is as far as I can get when I do fly down normally. But what happens when I do trigger the glitch? How far can I actually travel? It's pretty decently far. So what we'll do here is I'll go all the way towards the top of this ramp that I have constructed. And what I'll do now is grab the glider and I'll swap it with the shield. What you're going to notice is that it's going to do a few things here. It's going to give us a T pose as well as it's going to allow us to go even further with the shield equipped. And on top of this, the fact that you equipped a shield, it's going to give you even more shields. This glitch right here is going to make you OP. So definitely try it out and stack some of your shields and let me know what you think down below. Now, before we continue on, I do want to talk about some more things about this glitch and show you some more proof. If we head towards the top here, I'm going to show you that I can swap between accessories, I can swap between shields, it honestly doesn't matter. Even if you do have a crown, you can swap that too. If you would like to travel in the hotter zones and also the colder zones without swapping out your armor, you can do this as well. You just want to grab the glider or the armor accessory, whatever it is, pick that up and then swap it with the cold or the fire resistant armor. It's up to you. But overall, this is a really awesome glitch. And I think this one is probably one of my favorites because you're able to go to both the hot and cold zones without swapping anything out. This glitch right here, I would like to give credit to Amenity for discovering this over on the Discord. Thank you so much for that. And let's go on and talk about the next glitch. What I'm going to be showing you next is a great way to move stacked items. What we need to do is try to grab the item like so, hold the left mouse button, then tap tab. What will happen is when you tap the tab key and you are also holding the item of your choice, it's going to pop up this right here, the icon on your cursor mouse or whatever. So what you're going to do is you're going to then go all the way towards the top, go towards the back portion here, and then select the chest, 
and then drag it to the selected box. This way you could transfer all of your items without even being overweight. Now I do not believe this will work on Xbox, but feel free to try it and let me know if there's anything different that you can do to make this work. And if you can, comment down below. This right here is quite useful. This way you're not just separating these huge stacks. You can actually just grab them and then move them to wherever you need to. It's the best glitch out here in my opinion when it comes down to moving these heavy items. Before we continue on, I would like to give a huge shout out and a thank you to Little Biscuits. So yeah, thank you so much. And if you are not a member of the Discord, join down below. It's completely free. Next, moving along here, we're going to talk about something I had shown about two days ago. The reason why I am going over this again is to show you a completely brand new method. What we need to do is head over towards the desolate church. You can actually do this to any black marketeer. It does not matter. It really doesn't. Then once you're at this location, you will then want to hop on top of your mount. Go over towards the left side here because we need to locate the abandoned mine. Also, I do want to show you guys something else within this video to show you some proof that it is possible to capture the black marketeer. I think there were some comments in the previous video where some of you were thinking this is not possible, but it actually is. But anyways, what we're going to do now is continue along here, and yes, I am in my T-Pose glider or whatnot. It's, uh, it's a pretty fun glitch. If you skip past that one, definitely check it out. Yet anyways, what you're going to do is head towards this general direction here towards the west. Eventually, you will see a point where you can drop down below, and you're also going to see a cave entrance or a mine entrance. This is where you need to go to. I do want to say that in this clip right here, you're going to see something strange. I decided to try to ride my pal and then it sucked me right up towards the top and I had to drop down below. Strange stuff, but anyways, what we're going to do right here is go towards the entrance. You're going to go all the way inside and once you're inside, you should see that there's going to be the black marketeer. Previously, what we had done was use a sword and then talk to the fella while striking him, and this would allow us to pretty much defeat him without really suffering any damage, or any damage at all. Now, what we need to do is make sure that our pal is set to attack aggressively, and then we're going to summon down our pal and try to talk to the Black Marketeer right away. If done correctly, you should see that the Black Marketeer is now frozen, and you can sit back and allow your pal to do all the work. Now, if you do it incorrectly, what will happen is that this dude is going to start attacking you right away. And what I would recommend is that you just open up the menu, leave, and then join back. What will happen is that this will bring you back to the same exact spot, yet this time the Black Marketeer will not be aggro. And then you can just use the same exact method as I just showed you previously, or you can use the sword method, it's all up to you. Also, if you're wondering, do these glitches work in dedicated servers or possibly your community server? Yes, it absolutely will work in those servers. This also means the duplication glitch that you can do on dedicated servers does work, and I also recommend that if you have not checked it out, that you do so. I will leave a link down below if that's something that you would like to see. Or what you can do is click on my videos and find it for yourself. Now, if you have any questions about today's video or a previous glitch video, comment down below and I will try to reply back within the first hour. If you cannot reach me then, what I would recommend is you can actually send me a message over on Twitter or you can join me over on the Discord and we can talk about glitches over there. With all that being said, I appreciate the love and support from all of you that do stop by the channel and just check it out, even if you're not subscribed just yet. So if you have yet to subscribe do that now and click the subscription button it's completely free and you can even turn on the notifications as well which is also free thank you all for the support and i'll see you all in the next video